And joining us now live in studio is Mayor-Elect of the Town of Elon, Emily Sharp. Madam Mayor-Elect, thank you so much for joining us in studio. Yeah, thanks for having me back. So first of all, just reactions to the win. Um, I'm just really honored. Um, you know, I think that municipal turnout is always pretty low, but it was pretty good for mm -hmm. municipal turnout. And I'm just really thankful and honored to be selected as the next mayor. Absolutely. So I, I want to talk quickly um, about Biden's infrastructure bill, actually, because the last time you were here, you know, you talked on October the 12th, you talked about how 40% of our land is not taxed. It's we we're providing services to 12,000 individuals for a budget with 6,000. And he said we needed to find more of those creative revenue sources for the town of Elon through some state and federal resources. And I'm wondering, is this infrastructure bill one of those resources, do you think? I think we'll have to see what comes out from the federal government in terms of how states can allocate those funds sure. and if municipalities will receive any of it, similar to like the American Rescue Plan. Um, but also looking at USDA grants and other grants that might be available for communities like ours. Absolutely. So how do you see Elon moving forward? Um, again, you said raising taxes in the town only gets you so far. Um, but, you know, $60,000 is, isn't a whole lot when you go right. ahead and do that. But there are some resources that, that are needed when you're providing, mm -hmm. again, for 656 acres of untaxed land at, at the university. Yeah, I mean, I think that you just we just have to be creative and looking for those grant opportunities, um, but also looking at what our residents want and based off of what they want, how are they willing to pay for it? And I think that those are gonna be really important conversations. So I know you're on the Neighborhood Coalition mm -hmm. um, with students and residents. Is this, is this something you hope to advance further? And I know the last time you were here, you were talking about really get the, the university engaged. Um, you said that uh, the university is at the, the same time the best uh, resource, um, uh, you know, is one of the best reactions that you hear from students, but also can be, uh, or from community members, yeah. it's, it's the best thing that they yeah. like about Elon, but in some cases, one of the worst things at the same time, yeah. too. So how do you hope to really uh, bring everybody together on you that? You know, I think that conversation is key. So getting out there, being among the people, if that's the students, the full-time residents, our retirees who live in the town, I think that's going to be one of the key things that we get out there and do in finding mm -hmm. those opportunities. And, you know, also finding ways to bring us all together. I think that that's really important and so that we can build relationships so that it's not the students separated from the full-time residents, from the Twin Lakes retirees, that we are all one Elon, and that's my goal. Absolutely. All right, well, we're really just getting started. Uh, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, but you're joining us on the other side. So everybody stay close. Elon will return after this. And we're back with the mayor-elect of the town of Elon, Emily Sharp. She's said to be sworn in on December the 6th. So we were talking a little bit about um, community and student relations. I, and I know that you have previously said that COVID has really improved that a lot. Um, but it, are there specific members of you know, the administration at Elon or spe specific vice presidents or people that you feel like you really want to get in the door with to have these conversations with the highest level of officials at Elon? You know, we have, because of COVID, that has really been something that I think has been truly solid is building the relationship. So Dr. Book, Dr. Stein, um, Dr. Dooley. I mean, everybody has been so responsive and also just committed to m moving that relationship forward. So I think the right people are in the room and I think we just need to continue that. Sure, so, um, you know, I guess, what are you gonna do to start to I prevent, I, you know, really talk about and address some of these tough parts of Elon, right? And I think one of them can be in terms of the um, lack of faith, I think, in the vaccine. We're seeing that pretty broadly around the Alamance County community. Mm -hmm. I wonder if, how you're seeing that in the town of Elon as well. The university is a pretty highly uh, concentrated, highly vaccinated population. It's, we've been sort of limited th to, through other things because of the surrounding area as well. Yeah. And I'm wondering it, how you plan to tackle that issue. You know, I think that the best thing that we can do is just provide scientific evidence to support the vaccine. As someone trained in public health, it's important to me. And, you know, I, I've been a supporter of it all along. And the more people that we get vaccinated, I think that the quicker we are going to be able to get back to as close to the formal normal as mm -hmm. we're going to get. 
So I know last year on the docket, really, the equality resolution was a big uh, piece of uh, legislation that really mm -hmm. um, had a lot of eyeballs watching from students and community members. How, is that something that you plan to, to push forward even further than that as well? And what are your thoughts on all of yeah, that? Yeah, I think that my goal for the equality resolution um, or a potential ordinance mm -hmm. is to talk to our new board members once they're instated in their new roles, see what they think about it, because um, we didn't have the votes to pass an ordinance mm -hmm. previously, but also continuing to look at what the impact is on our town staff. Um, we are a small but mighty staff in the town of Elon and making sure that we can handle the enforcement of an ordinance. Mm -hmm. and, and for students who maybe didn't know this election was happening, who maybe are just meeting you for the first time, mm -hmm. you know, how are, what are further ways that they, well, you know, they're only here for maybe that four year period. Yeah. How can they further contribute to the community? How can they get to know you as Madam Mayor? So um, they can find me on social media. So I even did my first TikTok on election day. I have my own personal TikTok, but my first official Emily for Elon TikTok. <laughs> um, so they can communicate with me on there. Um, they can email me. My phone number is public information. So they can call me. They can see me when I'm downtown, which is pretty much every day. Um, I'd love to meet with them and you know hear their perspective on the town as well. Sure, absolutely. Well, Madam Mayor-elect, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. We hope to see you back, too, when uh, we get some things on the docket over absolutely there. Absolutely <laughs> happy to. Thank you so much.